Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, I'm just here and um, just show you a few pots. Some regular GP bowls with a pouring lip. You've seen me do many times. Uh, a star paddled um, pot. Uh, trimmed foot. some tea bowls and some of those biscuit barrels that I um, you saw me doing some clips on some of them those I fluted now despite my best efforts um, I'm noticing that we are getting a bit of cracking on the handle can you see that at the base just at the base there and then on this one more severe so, well, of course, um, cracking like that, if you make your pots over a period of a few days, that can easily happen, which is was what happened in my case here. Plus, we had weather that was a little bit um, dry. So, anyway, I thought what I'd do is just show you how I'm going to go about fixing this situation um, so let's just get that lid I'm expecting I'm expecting some of those to crack others as well perhaps see what happens when you uh, when you take a, an appendage you put it onto a pot now in this case I attach the handle here you see and then I, you see the angle that it's bent, it's bent over, I had to stretch it over. Um, so initially the handle was in fact uh, wetter than the, the lid. I put plastic over it so it dried slowly. But over a period of time the handle began to catch up with the lid and in fact the handle overtook the lid now the, the handle is actually drier than the actual lid you see this is where cracking occurs where you get differences in in moisture content in the, 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 the various pieces and you get cracking so this uh, the lid is basically still got more moisture in it than a handle so the lid is going to contract a little bit so it's a tricky one isn't it and that's quite a crack I'm sure you would agree so what I'm gonna do is what I've got here um, I'm not a, a master at doing this by any means it's you know it's sometimes you're successful mending cracks and other times you're not it's just a fact um, so I've got a container I've got some dry clay here I'm just gonna put a bit of that dry clay in there kind of crush it a bit now no doubt somebody out there has got this down to a fine art better than I have in which case please share your experiences okay so there's some some dry clay in there what I'm going to do is take some vine vinegar add some vinegar to that not very much whoops yeah, I added a bit much there yeah. that is a bit much Simon should have been a bit more. Don't want it too liquid, you see. So your next question is going to be, why using vinegar? <laughs> well, vin a vinegar sort of works quite well as a sort of plasticizer, I find. It adds plasticity to clay. Now, there's some technical reason why this is I'm not quite sure I mean I add vinegar as you see me do on different clips to um, 
to my clay when I recycle it. What I want to do is get this into a kind of like a a paste, but I don't want it too I don't want it too too liquid, you know. So Brush it up there a bit. Oh, what a fine mess you're getting us into here, son. I have heard of people doing things with you know, uh, mending pots and having great success doing something rather than I can't remember. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't always... <laughs> the best thing you see, <laughs> of course, prevention is the best, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. Prevention is the best cure. Don't let it happen in the first place and then you... Maybe that's why I'm not very good at doing this because I, I don't actually get much cracking. This is actually the worst, most severe bit of cracking I think I've ever had. Well, not maybe I've ever had, but I've had in quite a while. Okay, so um, what's useful is a bit of a sponge like that, which you can get a car cleaning sponge like that, and the bit on the end here, snip that bit across there, and it'll give you a, a piece of sponge that's useful to you, you see, like that. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take some of that vinegar on the sponge and just dab it there a bit into that join. Hmm. We'll see if this works or not. So I'm taking taking some of this 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 clay here that is not very much and I'm now going to I'm now going to put it into there cracking just there. You often get, you know, when you do this tail end here, if you get differences there, you, that's a very common place to get a sort of like hairline crack just there. So I'm just filling that in. Um, I used to watch my dad doing this sort of mending stuff, you know, in this studio. See everything when it when it dries it contracts doesn't it? It it gets smaller. And that's so the the clay shrinks, you see. I don't know. Tell tell me if you think Tell me if you think I'm... Oh. Tell me if you think I'm a nutcase. No, it's true though, isn't it? It does, it shrinks. So I'm just wiping that over with a bit of vinegar. I don't want to make it too wet and damp, but maybe I have already. That's it, wipe it around. Now, so that's now going to dry. Probably what will happen is it will dry and it will crack again, but the crack will be less. And then I will, I will, I will fill it again, and it'll dry a little bit, and it, until I can hopefully get it. I may have to do it two or three times, but um, it's this lid actually is the only one. You see, it's got this dip in the middle here, 
where that's just to give you a bit extra room for your fingers you see well that's the only one of these lids that had that that I put like that just wondering if that was a factor that might have contributed I don't know actually if it was or why it, it would anyway so we'll put him back over there with his Yeah, you want to make sure that the the lids. I just noticed then. You see, because they're sh because they're shrinking. One of this lid here was really tight. It wouldn't come off because it it had shrunk onto the the flange. You see. So when these get a little bit dr uh, drier, what I'll do is I'll 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 grind them in. You see, like grinding in valves in an engine. I'll I'll grind them just by just by. Ah, oh, that one on the end has done it. Hang on, I'm going to have to put the camera down here for a sec. That's the sound they make when you when you grind them in. It tells you that's a tight fit, doesn't it? So we'll have to do that. Just just grind them a touch. Yeah, I'm expecting more of these. You can see the difference in the white of that and the dark of that. You see, it's setting it itself up for a, a crack, a cracking situation. There's another crack forming. There, can you see one there? Another one there. The reason was that these lids, these lids, I didn't get around to putting handles on them and I kept putting that they were under plastic and I kept damping them down and I didn't get around to, so I put them, I put those handles on, you see, too late. That's the fact of the matter. Anyway. Okay, well. That's it, folks learning curve learning curve but you know we'll 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 hopefully make them good in the end hey thanks for watching hope that's been of some help to you and and let's hope that what i did <laughs> was successful and if anybody out there has got any good tricks on uh, you know how to repair uh, pots that are cracked like 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 I'm showing you then please share them uh, we can all learn then I mean um, yeah it's a it's a learning curve but yeah as I say the best thing is prevention don't don't leave your pots if they the best time to put a handle on a, another pot or another piece of clay whether it be a lug or a handle is as quickly as you can as soon as you can Get a handle onto it. Don't ha leave it for a few days under plastic, you know, and then come round to putting handles on, you know, too much later. Best to do it while the clay is still fresh and soft and workable. Once it gets hard, it gets difficult to work, you know. Even with your best intentions and efforts, you know, to try to spray it and keep it damp down, you'll find it, I found that it's never very satisfactory doing it like that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.